Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this Varica 2016 new training course and this lesson is called Varica Files and Folders. Um, I will start this lesson showing you a new functionality of the program here in this upper right corner that basically allows us, us or all the users to verify if there is a new uh, version of the of the software. So in my particular case, Varicat is showing me that my license is up to date. But uh, in case you don't have the latest version and you are uh, on the update program or maintenance free uh, program, there is an, uh, another message that you are able to see here that is you have a newer version available so please uh, download it or download it and install it so uh, it will give you um, the options how to take care of this update and i'm mentioning this uh, update because this is very interesting and uh, quite convenient and uh, introduces me the topic of the installation uh, of the program regarding the folders or directories that the program uses. Um, Varicad is not very flexible on the configuration uh, of the different folders that it uses but there is one or two items which we can change uh, regarding uh, what to use and where to use. Okay? So basically, if I come to this tools menu, I open the options and I come to this function here that says list of system directories and a dialog box open showing you um, what are the directories that my license in particular is using and if you open in yours it will show you also a list so i can come to any of these and click with my right mouse button and i have two options display full, full path name which appears here i can copy and, and uh, use it in my uh, explorer um, or I can open File Explorer and it will open uh, a window uh, showing what is inside and then I can use the uh, general functions that I have in my, in my operating system. Okay? This is one of the things I can do with this function. Um, besides this and to deal with the standard installation of the program, I can come again to this tool menu coming to the system settings and I have a huge amount of functions here most of them we will see uh, in future uh, lessons we have specific uh, topics but um, I would like to show you now uh, two of those of, of this list one it is these automatic safety backups and I can enable or disable okay I will leave them enable and uh, I can come to these settings of the backup directory and saying choose a different one this is quite important so note this function uh, for the future okay um, besides I have another function that is called pet names of Varicad file settings and this is a, a minor uh, command uh, not very important but it is available where I can specify different uh, differences for the path names regarding opening and saving files in these two conditions described here okay and I cannot do much more regarding the folders uh, used by Varicad, okay? But I can show you now uh, the topic regarding the files that Varicad uses. There are um, some uh, file formats 
that are becoming obsolete so I will not speak about them but I can show you in this file menu uh, you understand that all these uh, standard functions the new open save save as uh, will allow you in this case uh, for example the open will allow you to open uh, different file formats and you can see that uh, I can open several file formats and I can start describing the DWB format which is the standard Varicad format and besides I have three possible formats uh, from where I can import geometry 2D or 3D from other systems so I have the step file uh, which uh, allow me to import 3D geometry and uh, this is, I, I, I can say that um, probably at this moment it's the most important uh, 3D file format for exchanging information between CAD software and I have for the 2D the DWG format which is uh, a 2D format and is uh, well known for being the AutoCAD uh, file format so in fact uh, I can import directly um, AutoCAD file without uh, problems um, and I have a generic um, 2D format which is DXF okay uh, allow me to import um, from other 2D programs these are the things I can import and I can save also different file formats in this case a little more okay again I can save in Varicad standard format the DWB then I can save in step again for the 3D I have these functions these options sorry these options with sections this is not very uh, important and in fact it is only important for uh, in several in some cases for rendering software so I will not mention much about this for now at least I have the IGs also with the same option with sections. The IGs is also for it's a mainly a 3D file format. Um, in this moment, it's uh, becoming obsolete also because everybody is using the step. Uh, I I will leave this for for last. I have again the DWG so I can import from AutoCAD and I can export to AutoCAD and again the DXF for 2D uh, entities for other CAD programs also besides AutoCAD. Um, apart from all these I have a new, um, a new considering that I was showing the opening. Uh, I have this file format the STL also with the options with sections so I don't consider this so, but I have this STL which in fact um, it is very used uh, for 3D printing uh, and some systems use this format also for uh, making um, uh, machining so uh, CAM software this is no more, no less than um, a three. Uh, uh, sorry, this word is difficult for me. Triangulation or tessellation uh, of the geometry, where um, when you export it, in fact you are doing very small triangles of all the entities you have uh, on in your three D um, file. I have a, um, a image prepared to show you. Uh, this is uh, uh, to give you an idea because in fact here you can see on the red dotted lines um, the original uh, representation of the original CAD model and when you export it 
you will make triangles of all the geometry as you can see uh, inside uh, if you open uh, this uh, file you create you see a mathematical definition of uh, for each triangle of the three points okay and what it does is an approximation so it's no longer uh, in this particular case uh, um, a round entity but an approximation and this can be more precise or less precise okay it depends on the uh, specification you give when you export the file so basically these are the formats that you can work with for example I will make um, an example uh, which is a new function called batch file conversion a new function for what we are talking not a new function in the software um, if I invoke this function I can make uh, a batch conversion see the options here okay uh, I will use this simple one varicad to step 3d and I can say save converted files in I will say for example I will put them here okay and uh, I will use these guys here and make convert and okay it will start convert everything for that file I can try to open them okay step files all inside um, so this is a functionality interesting if you have uh, a big amount of uh, files to convert um, to finish this lesson I would like to show you also in the system settings there are a couple of specific functions to uh, work with this conversion of files so for example the DWG DXF input you have a couple of things you can define so you in terms of the units you can have an automatic detection or say millimeters inches and regarding because we are talking about to the entities uh, about options how to deal for example with the fonts used um, I, I would not say that uh, this is better or this is worse it depends on the results you have and if you have a bad result with a conversion of a file please try the other option or change the text font okay so uh, in the output you have a little different uh, type of settings uh, and this is quite important uh, in terms of the DWG uh, which is the function uh, which is the version of the AutoCAD uh, you, you use this is a little the same way uh, as I was mentioning before if you have bad results with one version please come and use another version usually older versions this, these are quite old but for example AutoCAD 2004 or 2007 are very stable versions so uh, if you have not so good results with these uh, latest ones uh, use around 2004-2007 and uh, probably you should have uh, better results the same for the DXF output um, and uh, how to deal with the file code page okay usually uh, you should use default okay so regarding the the language of the system um, and how to export blocks dimension tolerances splines or polylines and they mention these topics here because these are particular entities that usually can have some uh, degree of problem okay uh, this is regarding 2d you see here regarding 3d we also have a couple of definitions uh, first the step input um, again uh, 
the same uh, possibilities, trying something or not. Um, step output, you have a little more control, so you can describe the curves and patches, these are entities from the 2D and 3D files. Uh, analytic or nerves, usually nerves are uh, a good process to, to write the files. Uh, the protocol, uh, an older one or the latest one, and how to, the, to output the units in step file. Okay, recommend it the, as use it in, in Varicad. Uh, now, regarding the uh, STL, um, you see, I was mentioned that you have uh, the precision on the triangles. So you can export uh, lower, medium or high precision and you have a definition for what is more or less precise. Uh, again, I will not uh, tell you this is better than this one. It depends on what you are doing. Uh, probably if you are exporting to um, uh, something that will make uh, 3D printing probably the majority of, uh, of parts you may export this low may be uh, enough uh, if you are exporting a file for a, a milling software probably this is the best option uh, because of the precision it depends so uh, written the data in millimeters or in inches uh, uh, how to deal with the coordinates and the format of the of the coordinates exponential or usual so um, it depends a little of uh, the place or the system where you are going to read the file that is being exported this is a little in some of the of the topics is a little uh, do and try okay uh, and this is uh, something that is becoming um, not so important so probably will be obsolete in in future versions so it is uh, an import settings but because we are working with a step input so don't don't care much about this function here uh, so for this lesson in particular i think everything it is explained uh, this is a little more short and as I told you there are some file formats of the Varica that are becoming obsolete so I will not mention them. Um, so I hope this uh, it has been clear about uh, this topic and I hope to see you in our next lesson.